uh, real quickly, uh, this is, we're looking at my kit, uh, the avatar kit, and uh, the full spectrum avatar kit. And one of the criticisms, especially from my partner, Bignaria, uh, was that, you know, she couldn't figure out how to show these overlays and everything, how to bring in a background image and match up the faces, not just uh, uh, other, you know, you guys, the users out there, my partner, she was uh, bitching at me too, but I just haven't had time to sit down and make a video for this. So one of the things, uh, new things in Blender, is your overlay panel. And uh, essentially I have, in certain windows, you know, uh, I have uh, these different windows for different purposes that you might want to do. Now maybe I probably should have added one with the overlays, but uh, I didn't. Uh, and I thought it was pretty handy to turn these things on and off because, you know, if you're not focused on certain things, you don't need to see them. And certain things just get in the way. So uh, if you want to see everything, though, you just have to turn your overlay panel on. Okay? If you look at the bottom, the uh, hints will, show, will tell you what it does and everything. And if you go into uh, the options, you can pick and choose what you want to see. Like on, in this view, even though you might want to add in a background, you probably don't want those bones screwing up your view. So you can turn those things off. Okay, one of the common things that was asked is how do I bring in an image? So now that we see this background, so now I can go in and add in a reference image. And so I have a few here and I'm going to pick this one and then zoom out and when selected on this now if you see if I go towards the corner this is kind of automatic in blender now and then in the middle I have an X to move it now of course I can also move it other ways by hitting T on the keyboard and then choosing move and then you can have that little widget to move things around okay and then, of course, in this panel on the left, as I'm selected on this, or on the right here, um, I have options like transparency. Um, why is that not showing? It should show. Um, so you can move it front, back, default. You can move it around and then show the transparency. Oh, I have to use alpha. There we go. And then I can use the transparency like that. Now, there was one issue I did see that might trip people up, and I have, to I have to see a timeline to do that, okay? Because if, maybe by accident or whatever, if you end up playing this timeline accidentally, okay? Because there are shortcut keys for that and everything. And then let's say you're, you're trying to select on this reference image, but you can't get, you don't have a, uh, a gizmo to move now you could still move it with G okay but uh, you, a lot of people love to I like having a gizmo you know? <laughs> so you basically have to make sure and check that you don't have animation playing when you're doing this so if you just make sure you don't have animation playing now you have your gizmo back but that's a quick look on uh, overlays and bringing in backgrounds and stuff like that if you guys have any other questions you know I have all these different windows for different purposes if you want to change textures out then you would go into the shading option but if you guys have other questions about the kit or uh, you know some advanced things in blender um, just ask me I will try to get that get to them uh, I haven't had time to do a whole lot of videos lately but if you let me know then i can try and find times uh okay have a good one everyone